seriously. <sighs> Ooh, Dad's going shopping. Let's see, what do we need? I've never seen a beaver around here. Better drink that magic milk. It's early, but I can make Dad some mac and cheese. He's too lazy, and he won't eat anything. Oh, vomit. into space. Fire all night. Hmm. Maybe I could cook something for Dad. Dad was so popular. God damn, you're on fire. Dad never smiles like that anymore. If I could go back in time, I'd go see him play. He looks so different in his basketball outfit. Maybe Dad would want to watch an anime instead. No. Why does he drink that if it just makes him mad? I'm frozen. I must build a fire. Hey, can you get that? Uh, hello? Good morning, sir. How are you this glorious day? Um, okay? Hey, who is that? Who keeps calling? I don't know. Uh, who is this? Thank you for asking, young man. My name is Derek, and I'm a proud member of the Universal Uprising Church. I'd love to tell you and your family about Jesus, our righteous Lord and Savior. Our church just wants you and your loved ones to share the Holy Spirit. Spirit? Um, we're just watching the game. Well, always remember that our Lord is watching out for you. By the way, is your mother or father available to speak? Well, I have to ask first. Chris, who the hell are you talking to? Nobody, Dad. Jesus is... Dad loves his dad notebooks. Hmm, I don't think Dad reads these. I think he just takes them from work. No, no, no! Stole the ball from that piece of shit! You suck! Dad, I found your car keys. That's where they went. I swear I had them on me, but they must have fell out of my pocket last night. Just put them in the bowl. Cool? Yeah.
Good job, buddy. Dinosaur Land is open for business. Eat everybody! I am more T-Rex, and you are my lunch. Roar! This dinosaur won't need a grumpy old dad, right? Goodbye, log. Oh, yeah. Never. Yeah, boom. Boom. Now I can use that makeup from Halloween. No diving today, Nemo. I never get tired of Hot Dog Man. Never. Man, I love this issue. Wish I could draw like this. I can't believe Dad let me put these stickers here. Maybe he likes them too. I wonder when I can start to shave. Do superheroes shave? Oh no, I hate going to the water eater's lair. Welcome to W-H-E-R-O. Today we are honored to have an interview with the world's most awesome superhero, Captain Spirit. Hello, Beaver Creek. Captain Spirit, when do you think you will defeat Mantroid? Mantroid is a bully and a coward. He can't hide, but he can run. We heard reports that he is putting together a team of supervillains. Do you have any message for them? My message is that Mantroid will never win, and I will find you, and I will crush you. Yes, that is what this town wants to hear. That's my job, and that's why we love you. Can you tell us who your superheroes are? The only hero I have is me. That's good to know. Can you give us a hint about how you discovered your epic powers? No. Okay, do you have any final words for your audience? Be nice and always fight for the good team. Thank you, Captain Spirit, for being our hero. And now back to W-H-E-R-O News. I feel naked without my costume.
I'm glad Dad kept Mom's perfume. It smells just like her. That does not look good. Ooh, the mystery of the secret key is solved. Light on. I know this drawing sucks, but it's cool that Dad put it here. I hope I get to go practice with Dad again this summer. I'm too old to be measured now, right? Shoot, that's way too high for me to reach. Oh, I could use this to make some cool armor. Yes, this will totally protect me from Mantroid. Okay, that's a good start. But now it's time to build the rest of my costume. If I smoke in the fortress, I'm breaking the superhero code. Dad was so angry at the police. I remember Dad yelling on the phone a lot. Jeez, Dad wrote a lot of letters. Dad loves his cancer sticks. Gross. I wonder what they taste like. Careful of booby traps. Wow, Dad had fans when he was playing in high school. That's scary. So we moved because dad couldn't pay for the house? That sucks. Dad got fired? That's when he started working for the railroad. Dad never told me he had a new friend.
Oh. My. God. Dad actually got me the new play box? No way! Dad used to always talk about this basketball. I've never seen Dad get that mad. It really scares me. Maybe Dad would want to watch an anime instead. No. What if I had real superpowers? I could protect the whole town. Gotta have a super cape. Only Captain Spirit can wear it. I can feel the energy flow through me. I have the power. <sighs> One more piece and I'm almost done. I miss playing ball with my friends before we moved. Hey, Spider Baby, I think you caught your lunch in your web. And there's a snail moving so fast, he's in one place. <laughs> that guy fucking carried it! They dropped this guy and not me. Run circles around that guy. I could take over the town with this army or the world. I can't wait to go back inside the flying fortress. Yes, hell of a donk. I've read this one so many times. I miss Hal. He feels like he's so far away, even though he lives on the other side of town. Captain Spear doesn't need weapons, but just in case. Are you ready for the ultimate battle? of good versus evil. You can't win this battle, Noctarius! It's already over, Power Bear! Cool. Cool. Don't let Mantroy control you! Nobody controls me! Mantroy is my leader, and he wants you to die! Give up now! We don't have to fight. You're not the boss of me, Power Bear. Mantroid is your boss now. Why did you join his team? The same reason you joined Captain Spirit's team, to win. Captain Spirit has helped the world over and over. Liar. Where were you and Captain Spirit when Mantroid saved my life? Huh, good guy? I'm sorry, Nocturus. You want to be there for everybody. You're the enemy. Now take this. Come to my aid. I can't defeat Nocturus on my own. I can't. Captain Spirit.
Release him, Power Bear. Oh, yeah. Captain Spirit's got your back, loser. He decided to spare you. That's a real hero. Now go back to your master. Me and Troy will get his revenge. For me! <sighs> Thank you for keeping me from the dark side, Captain. So glad I did my English homework already. Miss Stroud's pretty nice, and she likes my stories. <laughs>